Yo, what's going on guys? This is Brent again, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to add five new API routes. So these five include viewing and deleting all customers, viewing and deleting a single customer, and then editing a single customer. If you haven't seen our previous tutorials, I'm going to go ahead and show you what we have going on right now. We have a single API route uh, that is an, one that allows you to post to customers, and that's posting a new customer. I've created an Angular form that allows us to access that API. So I've filled in some data, and then you can see the, the uh, API returns that user back to the client. So let's get coding on our first API route. I'm thinking that our first one is going to be to query our server, our Mongo database, to get all customers back. Um, so we're going to do that by router.get. And the link to this API will be customers, just like our post data. But this time we're, getting, uh, we're using a git request. Function request response. And now we need to query our Mongo database to get those customers back. So customer.find. And by providing an empty object here, we're not excluding anybody. Um, so it's going to return everyone in the database. And then we can just do a um, function here that returns if there's an error and then it returns our data. And then what we can do is we can just respond with our JSON data back to the client um, that data and save that. Next, let's write a API route to delete all customers. Router.delete. Um, and of course, these um, routes are, should be protected in some way for so only admins can access them. Request response. And then we're going to do customer.remove. And since we're providing the empty object here, um, it's going to remove everyone in our database under customer. So we can just respond with a uh, JSON object um, with the result. If there's an error, result uh, error. Otherwise, result is okay, and save that. Next, let's get a specific customer. So router.get um, customers slash, and then this is a parameter that is going to be passed. Um, we'll just call it ID, and then function request response, and then we'll do customer.find1, where the ID matches requests.params.id. And you can see that the request.params is whatever is passed after customer or the customer slash. So, um, and then we can function error data. And then what we can do is we can respond with JSON object that data back to the client. Save that. Next, let's delete a specific customer. So router.delete, and then customers, where we give a specific ID of the customer we want to delete. Request response, customer.find, or actually dot .remove, um, where the ID matches request.params.id. And then function, whether or not there is an error in deleting that. And we can just copy this up here, paste it, save that. Okay, so let me explain this last one. It's going to be edit a customer. So the client is going to post data to our server. And the post data is going to come in with all the edits that we're making to a specific customer. And so the server is going to request data from the Mongo database that matches the ID of what the client wants to edit. It's going to get that data back from the Mongo database and replace it with the client's edits and then save it back to the Mongo database. Okay, so let's get this po uh, coded here. Router.post. Um, customers slash where there's an ID of the customer we want to edit function request response and now we're going to do customer.find1 
where the ID of the customer matches the ID of what the client wants to edit, uh, request.params.id, and then function error data. Now we got the data back, now we need to edit it. So we're gonna create a new variable called customer and equal data. So now we have a copy of our customer. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this stuff up here, cause it's basically the same thing we're doing and get it all pretty. So now the customer's first name uh, is going to be replaced with what the client posted uh, to the server. And so all this is pretty much the same, same last name and phone and all that kind of stuff. Then we're gonna save the edited version back to the database. Now let's quickly just test these APIs. So I'm gonna add a couple customers to our database to start off with. Then I'm going to show you Postman, which will allow us to uh, simulate posting and getting and delete requests to our server. Uh, so first off, let's uh, go ahead and get API slash customers, which should return all of our customers back like we uh, did here. So get, doing a get request returns all of our customers that we've added. Now let's go ahead and do a delete request, um, API slash customers, which should delete all these customers that we just added. So send that, we get a result of okay, which means that our database should be empty now. So let's do another get request to see, and now we get an empty array. Let's add two more customers back. The first one will be named Brentarelli, and the next one, Nico Nathan. And then add customer. Okay, and then let's query to see all of our customers. So we got two objects, two customers in, Nico Nathan and Brentarelli. And now let's go ahead and do a request to just get uh, back Brentarelli. So we'll copy the ID and we'll use a get customers slash and give it the ID and do a request there. And now you can see back we're getting a single customer back. Now if we do a delete request, and go ahead and send that. We get a result of okay, saying that it, it did okay. So now let's do a git request on the entire database and see if that Brentarelli is still there. And no, it's just Nico Nathan remaining. Okay, last one to test. All we have is Nico Nathan left in our database. So let's go ahead and edit this one by taking its ID and doing a post request with that ID. So now we're just gonna copy this object and we're gonna go to raw and we'll paste it in here. So this is sending the JSON object to our server. And so now we can, just like it would in the Angular app, um, we'll switch to Brent Arelli and 5.9 at the last one. So anyway, we'll send that. You see the phone's been changed to 599. Um, and then first and last name are Brent Arelli now. If we uh, do a get request on the entire database you can see the same information comes back just an array form and we've edited uh, our user one quick note uh, express.js does not accept uh, delete requests um, so in order to use our api with delete request we have to npm install method dash override create a new variable for that method override in our server.json file or server.js file and then use that middleware app.use method override and then it will uh, allow us to use delete so that's it for this video i hope you guys learned something if you have any questions comments or concerns go ahead and post them below i'm pretty good about getting back to everybody um, in our next video we'll probably be talking about uh, how to access these api routes in our angular js app for a more visual experience uh, anyways thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys next time